to protect our youth. We got to protect our kids. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, here's a big Lebrowski coming in again with another video. So another day passes by and YouTube is still doing nothing to ban Brian Moreland from the platform. Yes, the infamous creep known as EDP is still on YouTube and believe it or not, he keeps growing. Because I don't know why, don't ask me, but there are still people that for whatever reason support this guy. Yeah, despite of the disgusting things we all know that he did. And I mean, can we really blame this guy? I mean, yeah, but also we should blame the people that are supporting supporting him because why on earth would you support him after all what happened i mean sure you may find the guy funny which i also don't understand so um i just dropped off a fat ass massive fucking glob of shit, man fucking pushing that shit out of my fucking ass nigga like i was having fucking triplets my nigga you feel me or you may find him likable which i understand even less <laughs> But there are some things that shouldn't be overlooked so easily. And him avoiding this whole situation for years didn't help his case. At some point in time, he did release a video that we can't even call an apology because this shit was just fing laughable, dude. The thing for me is that I don't. I don't want to come on here, cry, boo hoo, beg for people's forgiveness. You know what I mean? Um, the only thing that I'm trying to go for in the distant future is redemption. You know what I mean? The only thing that I'm trying to go for is to restore honor and to restore um, a positive outlook on my name. You know what I mean? Um, because um, this entire shit that has been going down um, from me getting fucked with, me getting kicked out of apartments... Um, yep, and so he went on for over 8 minutes just being vague and never addressing the actual situation, never actually saying sorry for what he did, never actually saying sorry for what he should have been sorry, he actually just did only regret losing friends and his career because of his f up. Anyway, so you may be aware by now that EDP has made his return to YouTube and incredibly he has over 15,000 people that still support him and are watching his videos. He is not monetized as of now and I mean what a slappy in the face to all other creators it would be if this guy would get back on the partner program right i mean i wouldn't be surprised knowing youtube and the head scratching decisions that they make sometimes but anyway the point is that after four years of ruining his life for thinking with his head instead of his big head edp finally decided to address the situation and what do you know he still hasn't learned anything so he apologized but his apology is really laughable like for real the guy doesn't even try dude or maybe he just can't who knows so let's check EDP's sorry ass apology that by the way knowing this guy this must be hands down the worst apology of all time yeah even worse than Colleen Ballinger and her ukulele people are going to paint their narrative on you based on what they want to believe okay literally not even five seconds in and this guy is already not making any sense dude what the hell are you even talking about brother based on what they want to believe you mean the hard evidence that they got on you? Like for example you saying this kind of shit? Oh, you better show me some f***ing titties or something, Oh my god, EDP, like she's 14, like she's 15, motherfucker. I don't give a fuck, nigga if the bitch is one, motherfucker. like ain't shit free in this motherfucker. Or sending pictures of your own shit. Or how about actually showing up to meet up with what you thought it was Jesus, dude, this guy, huh? Especially when it comes to the internet and social media. One thing I want you guys to understand is that when you're dealing with trolls, when, you, when you're dealing with people on the internet who can just leave a comment and just run off to the scurries of their own, you know, hiding spots. What trolls are you even talking about? Dude, no one was trolling you, brother. You were just caught with your big and sticky hands inside of the cookie jar. This guy is just shameless, dude. There's no reconciling with these mother****. There's no getting through to them. There's no, you know trying to get these people to understand um where you are at at that point in time in your life you know addressing what happened a few years ago bro what what are you talking about brian the sh you pulled is not something you can just simply come back from edp 445 should be grateful they didn't throw his sorry ass in jail and he still has the nerve of coming out and saying some stupid sh like this holy hell dude the whole incident and stuff like that i'll be the first person to tell you I was in a very dark place in my life, very dark place, you know, um, had the fame, had the money, 
you know, um, had the status, you know. Um, I thought that I couldn't be touched. So you decided to try and touch a miner. And actually, how the hell having money and fame put you in a dark place? I mean, where are you now then, dude? <laughs> Man, this guy is just unbelievable, dude. I swear, him and Boogie were born to be together. You paid the price for it, you know? Now, one thing I want you guys to understand, you know, another thing I want you guys to understand, and of course, you know, there's going to be those mother out there oh edp just because you were in a dark place that doesn't justify what you did yes exactly because that is what any person with a functional brain would say dude the mental gymnastics that this guy has to make to try and justify himself is just fucking hilarious dude um i'm here to explain to you where i was at in my headspace a few years ago you know what I mean? Whoa, okay, this is going to be interesting. After all this time, is Brian Morland actually going to take any accountability for the shit he did? Let me make a wild guess before I keep watching, and I'm just going to say that he's absolutely not going to. The only thing that you can do as a human being, when you make a mistake to this magnitude, is to take responsibility for your actions, take accountability for your actions, understand that there is an issue, right? Understand that this is not normal. You know what I mean? To have these type of behaviors, they are not normal, right? Get the necessary help. <laughs> yeah, so basically everything that you didn't do through all these years, bro, the joke does itself here. <laughs> and overall, just trying to make sure that the same mistake doesn't happen again. And you learn from your mistake. That's all you can do. Well, that's actually funny you would mention that because not long ago, I think it was last year, this dude got caught again allegedly talking inappropriately with another minor on Instagram. Did you really learn the lesson, Bryant? And just try to improve yourself as a person. If that's not good enough for people, well then that sounds like a fucking personal issue to me. Now, a lot of people, they like to assume, right? Just because I haven't came out and made some big ass crying video, you know what I mean? Um, making a fucking ass up out of myself, all hysterical on camera and shit like that, that I show no remorse. That couldn't be any more further from the truth, you know what I mean? I mean, no one wants to see your stupid ass crying, my guy. Well, a lot of people wanted to see your ass get thrown to jail, but since that wasn't possible, I guess people just wanted you coming out, sitting your dumb ass in front of a camera, and admitted to all the shit you did, and say that you were fucking sorry, but for real, not just some fake ass apology. At least that you show some interest in taking some accountability for the astronomic fuck up that you did. But instead, all you did was keep trolling and saying stupid shit online, and avoiding the topic every time someone brought it up. Then he goes on and on for a couple of minutes about how he allegedly sat down and apologized to the people that he cares about like his family and close friends and bitch who gives a damn about that i mean yeah sure it is something you ought to do in that situation but first you should have apologized to the victims then your family and friends and then to your fans that supported you through all that shit, and even they still do for whatever reason despite you being a huge creep so they are literally 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 year olds, you know what I mean? DMing me, hitting me up on Instagram and they'll fucking type this message and they'll be all like, oh my God, are you the real EDP? And the moment I respond with, yes, I am. What they'll do, right? And they think that they're fucking sneaky about this shit, right? Um, Malicious intent. You feel me? <laughs> dude, talk about not learning your goddamn lesson, dude. Why on earth would you even answer to anyone that is that age, man? Knowing the public image there is of you. Why, dude? If you know first that you f***ed up and second that it is obviously a setup, why would you keep answering to those people? God, dude, how regarded can one person be? Obviously, adults should be held accountable and they should be um, they should get in trouble for messaging minors and engaging in those type of conversations in that particular way, right? I also
also feel minors should get in trouble for messaging adults. You feel me? <laughs> Absolutely not one bit of guilt on this guy. Zero accountability taken for his actions. It has been this way since this whole shit started. He just contorts reality in a way that fits his narrative. In his sad world, he still thinks he is the victim. This gotta be the most delusional person I've seen since I started doing YouTube. No doubt. Like, I mean, dude, like, blaming the victims is just crazy, dude. Which ultimately leads to harassment, right? Showing up at your fucking job, tracking where you work at, and you know, showing up at your motherfucking dialysis center. You know what I mean? Trying to find out, you know, what type of community that you live in, right? Storming the fucking leasing office and shit like that. Storming HOA offices and shit like that. You know what I mean? Fing with you out in public at the grocery store. You feel me? Bro, is this dude really complaining that the worst consequence he got from what he did is getting filmed and sold in fucking Walmart? Does this guy actually know what they do in prison to people like him? He got incredibly lucky to be honest. And then to make things worse, Brian, in classic EDP style, starts to threaten people that he is going to shoot them one day if they keep calling him out for being the huge creep that he is. And then, when they've decided that they've had enough, and they pull out that gun and they shoot your mother ass, right? All of a sudden, it was just a prank. All of a sudden, it wasn't that serious. Then he gives a sorry ass excuse of why he never came out and properly apologized, and it's really dumb. Oh, you're only making the video and you're only crying in the video because you got caught. Okay. Let's not make the video then. Oh, you need to take accountability and responsibility. You need to cam up and address your fans. And no, no one wanted you to come out with some stupid apology video where you sit in front of a camera crying like a big old baby. People wanted you to take accountability for your actions and apologize to the victims. That's all people wanted, dude. Instead, you went into this self-destructive spiral that got you where you are now. But well, I guess you will never learn, Brian, because despite all the shit you did, all the times you f***ed up, people are still stupid enough to support you when you haven't changed one bit. Because if this is your idea of an apology for what you did it's really a shitty one anyway then he goes on to rant about how he will not apologize for real basically because he said that people won't change his mind about him even if he does show some remorse i'm not gonna fucking cry my heart out and fucking get on my hands and knees and fucking grovel and beg for your forgiveness why because you guys like i mentioned before you guys already painted a narrative on me you guys think that i'm this fucking terrible monster so what's the point To be honest with you, I am quite shocked with that ending. I am somehow left speechless because this guy just doesn't seem to understand that it's not about proving a point or proving himself being innocent. It's about acknowledging that what he did is absolutely wrong and disgusting and he shouldn't be all confrontational about it. Because like I said, he's in fact lucky that he didn't get gangbanged by other four inmates in some prison. But anyway, I don't think this dude will ever understand because he just seemed to be that kind of person. I would just keep shitting on him until he gets kicked out of YouTube again, because that's the right thing to do. People like EDP shouldn't have a platform, at least not until they are fully recovered from the sick shit they did. So yeah guys, that is it for today's video, and subscribe to the channel if you want to be kept on the loop on useless stuff like this, and leave a like and a comment sharing your thoughts on Brian Moreland. I'm the Big Lebrowski, take care, and I'm out. I want it all, my nigga.